we finally decided to try the food from Yamazaki Daily Store convenience store. This is a convenience store that we don't really go to often. In fact, we've never tried the food from here. <laughs> Many of you guys requested us to go to Yamazaki Daily Store. We don't have one in our neighborhood. Uh, it's not as common as 7-Eleven Family Mart or Lawson, but we managed to find one. Uh, we just had to take a, a 15 minute bus ride and they had the in-store kitchen as well as the in-store bakery. You guys said that is very, very important. In fact, some of you guys said the best bread is from Yamazaki Daily. Well, it makes sense because Yamazaki is a bread store yes, after all, yes. right? <clears throat> One of the biggest bread company in Japan. Yes, but the ones that you can get at the store, the, um, the one where they have the bakery in the store, you can get them fresh. We just had to try um, other stuff, not just the bread. There was a huge selection of bread. Kind of shocking. Yes. Right? <laughs> kind of shocking. And their bentos were mm. also, I feel like, bigger than the bentos that you know, the, the three major chains and the onigiri that they make in-house are also quite large. So I bought a drink. This one is Kanto Tochigi Melon. Tochigi is a, the prefecture. Nikko is located. Yes, we've been to uh, Tochigi before. Mm -hmm. uh, we made a couple of videos from yes. Tochigi. Yes. Fabulous place. If you go to Tochigi prefecture, maybe you will find the yellow one. This kind of the the yellow lemon. one. The lemon one. Right. The same kind, but this one is melon flavor. Right, and that's something we don't see in the big three. I really should try the lemon one of these days. But now Ooh. we know we can get the melon one yeah. at Yamazaki Daily Store. Little it's milky. Milky and a little bit green. Yeah, mm. okay. Oh, it smells like melon. <laughs> melon, yes. Oh, uh, they are using it. real melon. Okay. Wow. Okay, mm. that's amazing. All right, well, while you are trying your. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I try it? Okay, I gotta try it. What? It's melon ish, but same time, it's sweet. For me, it's very sweet. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not very, but for me, it's, it's not very, very sweet. sweet. <laughs> it's like, it's not very sweet. It's okay. delicious. It's very milky. Is it milk? I think so. Yeah, it is milk. It's a dairy I, product. I'm not. I'm not used to drink the sweet milk. Mm. So really, like <laughs> strawberry milk, for example. I really gotta cut my hair. So I decided to try a couple of their breads, and I got the Naruto Kintoki no Imo Shio Pan. It's basically a local sweet potato bread, and it's a little bit salted. And the bread is super, super crusty, as you can see. And you can see lots of the sweet potatoes in there. Really looking forward to trying this. I bought three kind of breads. And that's the calzone. calzone. The tomato yes. calzone. Inside. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Lots of tomato sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, wow. wow. My bread is good. Really? Mm. I had to warm this up. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the calzone is better warmed up, <laughs> for sure. A little chewy now. Okay. Uh, but the flavor-wise, inside filling, it's cheesy tomato-y. Okay. Mm. Alright, mine is super, super crusty. Mm. And the sweet potatoes are really sweet. It's almost like candied sweet potatoes. Really? And there's... Um, like sea salt, like rock salt uh, sprinkled on top of the bread. And there's also some black sesame seeds to give it like a nutty flavor. But it's so well balanced and so delicious, of course. So Can I try your calzone? Mine a little bit sweety for me. Really? Maybe for you it's good. For me it's a little salty. Mmm. Oh. That's pretty good though. Mm. I know what you mean, it is a little bit salty. Mm. Nice sweetness. It's good. Outside, it's a good dog. The nice firmness. Mm. Yeah, I think like because they have an in-store bakery, mm. it's like proper bakery bread compared to like the packaged mm. bread mm. from 7-Eleven or Family mm. Mart or Lawson. It's different from the pre-packaged one. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I, I like this. I think it's flavorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's like oregano flavor, tomato-y. Mm. A little bit cheesy. Mm. I have to warm this up before. Mm. I think I think that's better. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save this bread for later because it's, it's also sweet. So I'm gonna go for something savory. I actually got their soba with inari sushi humbo. Like the inari sushi comes inside the soba packet, and of course you have all the condiments like the the nori and the sauce and the the green onions and 
I, I've never seen inari sushi together inside the bowl with the noodles. And I bought the kare pilafu plate. Tonkatsu yeah. spaghetti and sunny side up. Yeah, okay, let's give it a try. Hmm. 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 Well, flavor wise, yeah, nice curry taste. Yeah. Mm. And rice is nicely separated. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not sticky. No, it's not sticky. Yeah. Mm. Well seasoned with curry taste. Okay. Mm -hmm. My my noodles are just your basic soba noodles, really. Nothing to complain about. It's it's like the same quality as like the other convenience stores. That's all I can say about it. If they add. Any butter when they mix, mm. it must be very nice. Oh, okay, so there's no buttery taste. No you want buttery. some buttery taste. Mm. Okay, and that's my inari sushi. I love inari sushi. This brown part is deep fried tofu, and this is simmered in like a sweet soy sauce. And there's sushi rice, vinegar rice on the inside. Tonkatsu ish mm. thing. I don't know what this is. That's yummy. Mmm. Pork. Tonkatsu. Very tender. Very tender. <laughs> Very tender. <laughs> and there's already tonkatsu sauce on top. Tonkatsu sauce on top. Yeah. Yeah, th this is uh, really, really nice. Uh, um, very, very flavorful. I love I love the sourness for the vinegar. You know, you know that Inari sushi is one of my favorite sushi. Sunny side up. It's cooked, so it's not runny. Mm -hmm. Not runny. But, but uh, proper sunny side up. Like this. I realize this sunny side up. Mm. It's perfect the egg yolk located at the center. Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I try your um, pilaf? You can try my soba. And let's see what I think about it. Does it really need butter? Soba from convenience store is always mm. <laughs> not so good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Alright, so you, you know what I, I noticed about this um curry pilaf. I feel like um, it's very subtle on the flavor. It's not very salty either, but that's a good thing for you because you don't really like salty food. This is soba, it's better than I expected. Really? Yeah, the convenience store soba is mostly, mostly tastes not good. Mm. But this one, it's not perfect mm. and it's not the good soba, but better than I expected. Really? Is it better than like, you know, 7-Eleven or the other stores? Because you've tried them before and you didn't really like it. Sometimes it's very bad. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Sometimes yes. it's very bad. I don't say which one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, next um, I have an onigiri. I bought one of their um, in-store onigiris and this one is salmon. And this is pretty hefty and I'm really looking forward to trying this. How about you? This one is looks like a cinnamon roll, but it's not. It's si, si, sweet roll. It's a fluffy sweet bread and it's roll type. No, 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 there is something. Really? There is something. In the custard oh, cream or something like that. Interesting, okay. Let me just show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Look at all oh, that salmon on the inside. There's actually a lot of salmon for convenience store onigiri. Hi, itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Now, custard cream. It's good stuff. Mm. Custard cream is good. Mm -hmm. mm. I like this type. By the way, my omusubi is really good. Like the salmon is not too salty, super fresh and flaky, mm. and not fishy at all. The rice is cooked perfectly. Like, it's really good. It's like homemade. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, out of all, like if, hmm. Like I prefer this to like all the onigiri I tried at the other convenience stores. Maybe rice is good. The rice is really mm. good. And the nori is good too. And, and the, 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 the salmon is mm. nice. The flavor is very like homemade onigiri. Mm -hmm. This sweet roll is actually quite nice. It's buttery and it's still much better than the prepackaged one. It's better than I expected. Me too. Me too. What were we expecting? I don't know. But the we bread don't... was re the bread is so much better than the other convenience stores. I'm sorry, but it really is. 
So the next one I have is another bread. This is Uncle Butter Salt Bread. And salt bread is all the rage. On the inside, uh, there is Uncle, the sweet nozuki bean paste with butter and the salted bread on top. Mine is donuts. Name is Suratobu Donuts. Flying Donuts. <laughs> flying Donuts. I wonder why they call it that. So, I don't know why this is called the Flying Donuts. Hmm. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe the shape is like the flying saucer. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Identify the flying so I see, I see. You got like sugar and crumbs all on the carpet. <laughs> Much better than I imagined. Really? It doesn't look that great. For me, for me, hmm. it's my type. Jam, <laughs> mini <laughs> type. Uh, I like this more than Mr. Donuts. Really? That's so interesting. Wow. The, my, the bread that I chose, they're all good. Like this one's amazing. Like, I love this. I love, love, love this. The uncle is so smooth and perfectly sweet. And the, there's the butter inside, which gives it like the butteriness. The bread is crusty, perfectly baked with a little bit of salt on the top. Mm. So you get this sweet, salty combination. Yamazaki also makes cakes. And I got a, a container of their strawberry shortcake. And it comes with two cakes. Right, so it's a whipped cream with sponge cake and like fresh strawberry on the top. On the inside, I believe that's like strawberry jam. And it's very fluffy as you, when I cut into it, you can tell how fluffy it is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Typical Japanese sponge cake. Yeah, <laughs> it's good, but you know, the, the jam, it's jam on the inside. Mm. So it's like mm. kind of cheap, mm. but like the texture of the cake is good. The cream is nice. The sponge mm. is too airy. Really? Yeah. Too airy? Mm. Means too soft. Mm. It's disappeared in my mouth. Yeah. It's not a good thing. <laughs> I know. I mean, if, I, if I'm gonna be critical and not thinking about price or anything, like the, the cream is just cream. Mm. Whereas the cream from the department store one, I feel it's richer. Mm. The one from like New York Gramercy has like flavor. And this one, the, the strawberry jam is standing out. Yeah, mm. yeah. Too strong. Too strong, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what was your favorite? Okay. Oh, flying, flying donuts. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> flying donuts. You really like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's interesting guys, you know, Satoshi is not like a huge bread lover, but he loves donuts. Yeah, he likes donuts. Maybe because of the oil. <laughs> Maybe because the oil. <laughs> it's deep fried. <laughs> my favorite was my two breads. Like, I can't choose which one I like more because they're like equally delicious. Kintoki, sweet, sweet potato. But even onigiri was good. Um, mm -hmm. I think sweet potato one. Mm. It's good. It's really good. Mm. Okay, no, it's this one. It's the um, Anko butter salt bread. Really? That's my favorite. Anko butter. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Satoshi-san. Thank you for your invitation. Of course. So, see you guys on the next one. Take care everybody. Bye!